taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Drip Network. This is a follow up to my previous video a couple of days ago where I talked about buying the dip on Drip Network. Wasn't encouraging anybody to buy it, just showing you what I was doing. But one thing I explained in the video was that, you know, buying low and selling high is always the aim in crypto, in Forex, for example, right? And um, for me, buying the, uh, buying the drip token or adding into my position, um, DCAing at a dollar and thirty cents, I believe it was at the time, somewhere around that price. Um, of course, I would have liked for it to go back up rather than come down below a dollar. As you can see on the screen, drip is now ninety seven cents, so it's under a dollar, which many people wouldn't have liked it to have go there, including myself, right? But um, me buying at a dollar thirty-five cents or a dollar thirty cents is better than buying drip at its all-time high of one hundred and ninety dollars, one hundred and eighty something dollars. Okay, guys. So right now, if you were to buy drip at ninety-seven cents, it's about one hundred and eighty, one hundred and ninety x back to the all-time high. All right, guys. So in terms of risk reward, right? Um, if you put a thousand dollars into drip today for example the risk is, is that drip goes to zero and you lose a thousand dollars okay if drip goes to a hundred dollars the reward is a hundred thousand dollars so that's where my logic comes in on something like this at the end of the day it may not come back but um from what i showed you in the previous video looking at the chart and things like that i'm not saying it's gonna pump or anything like that but you know just based on the fact that it has a huge community there's people that are continuously invested in this thing, people that are continually, uh, continuously promoting it and things like that. I thought it was a good bet. And I still do think that, you know, there's it's got potential to the upside at the end of the day, considering the fact that it's come down so low. Uh, one of the other things to consider, like I said in a in the previous video, is that you have the scratches coming out for it, Shark. He's got a few things that he's doing on the animal farm still. And then his focus is going to be coming on the scratches uh, back onto drip or at least he says so right so if we look at the animal farm right um a lot of people um they're not just drip maxes they're forex shark maxes right so they follow forex shark so the animal farm of course is created by forex shark and a lot of people are taking profits from drip and going into the animal farm and uh, one of the benefits of being in an animal farm is it's less volatility you can still get a decent return on your investment a decent yield in terms of DeFi and the yearly APRs that you can get right without the volatility so obviously drip network is highly volatile so what people are doing is they're taking profits from drip putting them over into the animal farm okay guys so right now i'm earning a little bit more on the animal farm or should i say a lot more on the animal farm than what i'm earning on drip and it's a little bit of a safer position for the simple fact that i'm farming the dog token with blue chip cryptocurrency so you can get it has come down this was about 315 percent just a couple of days ago or say last week sometime right but right now it's sitting up 289.55 percent uh, apr which gets paid out in dogs token but you're paired up with dot and b uh, dot and b and b and with Cape BNB, you can get 292% APR as well. So that's close to the 365% that you're getting on Drip Network without the volatility. But of course, it's less, 289%, let's say almost 300%. Uh, so almost 1% a day that you get in with a lower risk. Okay, guys, so that's what a lot of people are doing, right? But I think that the time is going to come where people are going to start taking profits from something like this and putting them back over into the drip network token eventually um and that's probably going to be when the markets turn back around and things get bullish again but you know smart money doesn't tend to uh go into higher risk pro uh, projects or products or tokens right during the bear market so when the bull market comes back there's a lots of potential for drip network to come back or just because of the investors that are utilizing the animal farm to make profits in this bear market if you're following me right so some people will say uh, the dogs token has a 90 percent tax so you're farming over here to earn a token that gives you 90 percent uh, that's got a 90 percent tax uh, of course you can farm the dogs token and um, and pigs all right but uh, in the farms most of the farms 
you're earning the dogs token and the dogs token has a 90 percent tax but of course if you know the tokenomics or the mechanics of the animal farm you go over to the dog pound right and you state your dogs over in you know the auto compounder or the linear uh, pool and that basically gives you um it gives you lp tokens in the farm or it gives you bnb dividends as well all right guys so that is obviously something that people are using so in terms of using this it basically reduces your taxes so the tax starts at 90 percent uh, so that will reduce your tax the longer that you're in it it reduces your taxes you might want to sell early or whatever if the price of dogs increases but the price of dogs has actually been quite stable where it's at around the 60 dollar mark and that's because not a lot of people are selling it right so there's lots of potential for price appreciation in the dogs token as well which means that you can earn a lot more than the 289 percent in my case for example that i'm earning on the farms okay guys and this has all been updated so now you can see your personal earnings you can also see the global earnings all right guys so there's lots of innovation lots of development still coming on an animal farm but um yeah i think that there's a huge chance that the drip price can come back somewhere along the way so you know accumulating a position you know a lot of people have got a lot more stronger positions than myself right but accumulating a position nevertheless in you know whatever is you know at, at your risk tolerance right i think is a good idea i've got two accounts of drip by the way one much smaller one than this but 7.4 thousand drip was worth a lot more at some stage and i think it can still be worth a lot more later on okay guys so for those coming in the comments saying why would you promote drip you know why you know this is going to 50 cents and things like that it may go to 50 cents but does that mean it's a uh, it's not an opportunity to accumulate more I personally am not going to be accumulating more drip because I've reached my threshold in what I want to buy without seeing any kind of bullish reversal. Okay, guys, but I can compound. And uh, if this does turn around, I said it before with Splassive, right? Splassive pumped like another three, 400% from my previous entries. Okay, guys, it has come back down. It's a little bit more volatile, but I believe that drip can do the same thing. May It doesn't even have to go up three, 400%. If it goes up 2x, you know, 3x, and that's that's still a decent return on your investment if you're getting in at this price. So, um, yeah, I still think that Drip is a, uh, it, it's got potential to come back. But Drip under a dollar is going to be a lot of paper hands, uh, so they call them. You know, there's nothing wrong with selling, right? That's that's the aim of the game. It's passive income. It's actually there. It's meant to be sold, right? But um, yeah, Drip under a dollar, um, it is. You know, it it can be a bit concerning seeing it come down that low because you know it's down like you know 97 percent or something like that i don't know something like that don't don't quote me on that right but you know what do you guys think let me know what you think in the comments you know i'm interested to hear but ultimately you know i'm just an investor just like you guys right i'm still trying to figure this this thing out right so you know can it come back it's only had one cycle it's had two cycles, actually. No, it's had one cycle, okay? I think it can be classed as one cycle. Um, it's had two kind of, you know, mega pumps, but really one cycle, you know, one wave, three wave, five wave, Elliott wave theory and all that. But, you know, um, can this come back? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments at the end of the day. It's very risky. It's more risky than what it was. Um, in fact, you could argue that it's less risky buying it now because it's right at the bottom. Um but, you know, it is very risky buying highly volatile assets in the bear market, right? But, um, yeah, in a bull market, what do you think this could go to, right? Or maybe it goes to zero. Let me know what you think in the comments. Just wanted to do that quick video and give you my thought process behind that because people have mixed feelings about it, right? But, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. L like the video. That helps with the YouTube algorithm. Tick the, bell, uh, tick the little bell for notifications and I'll see you guys in the next video.